All right, people, it's on. It's on. I'm telling you right now, it is on. God bless you. Welcome back. God made millionaire. We are doing this. I'm excited today. And uh, I'm going to tell you why. Because when you do the thing, the power comes. See, faith without works is dead. And you don't see God's power until you start to exercise your faith. You're not going to see God's power. You'll see a little tiny bit of it, you know, in terms of him meeting, meeting your needs and, you know, keeping food on the table and things of that nature. But you're not going to see the incredible mountain moving power of God until you start to exercise your faith, you know, and it's easy to sit back. It's easy to do nothing. It really is. It's easy to get up, go through your day, no vision, no purpose. You know, it becomes harder later because you live a life that you're not so much happy with. It's not about other people. This isn't about other people. This is about what's inside of you coming out. The ideas that are inside of you that God put in you coming out. The desires that he put in you being fulfilled. The things that you imagine happening. That's what it's about. It's not about other people. They have nothing to do with this. They may benefit from the fact you followed your vision. For instance, we benefit from the fact Steve Jobs followed his vision. Mark Zuckerberg followed his vision. Martin Luther King followed his vision. George Washington Carver followed his vision. We benefit from that, but that wasn't about us. That was about something personal within them that they felt they were created to do, and they did it. Millions of other people. So it has nothing to do with other people. When you get to the end of your life, are you going to feel like, I gave this thing my all? Everything that was inside of me, that I felt I was prepared to do, all the ideas, within reason, once I determined that they were in my natural skill set, because you don't want to just go doing anything. We'll talk about that later. But the things that came natural to me, the ideas that I saw, the things I wanted to change, I did. Or I at least begun to do. Put it in motion. Because some things you can't do in your lifetime. So when you do the thing, the power comes. The minute you make up your mind, that you're gonna move in a particular direction, your forces, God just gets involved. I can't put it any plainer than that. He shows you results quick. When I was, when I first started, when I first gave my life to the Lord, I just got off the streets. Actually, I wasn't even really off the streets. I was kind, I was kind of in that transition. Um, I, I had a few people that came to church with me, and they started following the Lord and they began to see things happen. One guy, great job came, you know, and I mean, we're from the streets. These are guys, who, I mean, all of us pretty much had nothing, you know, to offer as far as good jobs, as far as a lot of us didn't have driver's licenses. Like seriously, God began to line things up. He confirms that you're moving in the right direction. He confirms that he's with you because within a year, I mean, I had people who were showing me how to drive. I mean, like the right way, showing me how to park, letting me use their car, put people in my life that'll let me stay with them when I didn't really have a place to stay, you know, a good, you know, I was, I was rebellious at that time and brought a lot of things on myself, but God began to put the right people in my life. Uh, and I saw this happen, not just for me, but I saw it happen for other people. Good jobs, new cars, you know, transportation to, 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 to get to and from work and operate in life. All of this stuff began to happen because they made a decision to go a particular way. And until you make a decision, you know what? I'm gonna write this vision down. I'm gonna take what's inside of my mind. I'm gonna put it on paper. It could just be something as basic as, I wanna be a teacher in five years, or I want my master's degree by this age, or, or uh, I want my business open by this time. I want to be a millionaire by this age. Um, I want to do this business by this time. You know, something simple. Now, some people may have more clarification on their vision. I encourage you, put it all down. 
Put every single thing on paper. Make that thing as crystal clear as you can get it, down to the details of how I want the office space laid out. When I walk into my office, this is what I want it to look like. This is the furniture that I want in my office. This is what I want when I go home. This is what I want my house to look like. This is what I want the furniture. Do I want a particular room in there that I use just for study? Do I, you know, where's my prayer area? Everything like that. As detailed as you can get, is as detailed as you should get. Because when you start to go in that direction, even if you don't have the full plan yet, don't worry about the plan. Don't worry about the plan. The plan is not important at this time. What's important is the vision. It's the vision, it's the outcome, it's the end result. Stephen Covey called it, begin with the end in mind. Uh, Sol King Solomon said, where there's no vision, the people perish. Um, in Habakkuk, it says, write the vision, make it plain so that someone can see it and they'll, you know, be afraid or something like that, it says. But it's talking about crafting a powerful vision, putting it in front of you, putting it in front of other people so that you can make moves. And if you, and vision is what moves people. It's not anything else. Vision moves people. Vision builds companies. People don't follow a person. They follow a vision. So... That's the first step, you know, make a commitment that you're going to, that you're going to take an action, take one action, go in a particular direction, write it down, uh, take a class, whatever action you can take, there is action you can take. Don't tell me there isn't, oh, the shine, I can't, I'm, I'm so confused. Then the first step is make a commitment to pray for, for uh, clear, uh, clarity of thought. I'm gonna pray for clarity clarity of thought every day until I, I'm not confused anymore. Do something, because faith without works is dead. And when you stand before the Lord, you wanna hear, well done. You don't wanna hear, oh God, I was confused. That's not gonna work. That's like Adam, when he, oh Lord, the woman you gave me caused me to go to, no. God doesn't want excuses because he gives us all the resources, but we have to have the faith to move. So have a great day. Share the video. Comment on the video. Let me know what you're thinking about doing, what steps you're thinking about taking, what's the vision. We're going to all stand each other. I'm going to pray for every member of this group as I ask you all to pray for me so that we can make these moves together and get to the destiny that God created for us. Share the video. Comment. Talk to me. I'll see you on the next one. God bless.